Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Race Space Spotlight. My name is Chris Murdoch. This week, we are fortunate to have an in studio guest this week on Race Space Spotlight, Race Space driver Brian Henderson. Brian, how are you doing today? Good, really good. Glad to be here. So, this is sort of your first Race Space Spotlight, and I want to sort of let the audience know. You know how you got started in racing. Where where did you come from? Yeah, so I started racing go karts when I was five years old. My dad used to race when I was growing up, and he got me into that. And then from there, I kind of went into late models and spec Miata, and did a little bit of both, and uh, took the took more of the road course side of things. So that's where I'm at now. And, and I want to talk about sort of this year in general, starting sort of with the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. You know. That's a, that's a big series that you're racing in, and you had the opportunity to race at a really, really big track in terms of road course racing here in America, Daytona International Speedway. What was that track like? Yeah, that track was really awesome. Uh, just on the high banks, you know, with all the competitors out there, really hard racing, a lot of fun. Um, that was my first time there, so I thought we did a really good job with that. And speaking of Daytona, Daytona is a huge part of the NASCAR world, and you had the opportunity to make a NASCAR start last year at Watkins Glen. What was it like running the Xfinity car on a road course, you know, that's kind of unknown? That was that was awesome, uh, racing out at Watkins Glen. That's one of my favorite tracks with all those NASCAR drivers. So many talented people just being around that atmosphere, seeing how crazy different it is from uh, sports car racing. Um, it rained a little bit in that race. That was a lot of fun to get to drive in the rain with all those guys. And now I sort of want to talk about, you know, catching up people to what's going on currently. Like we mentioned, we, you know, we talked about racing in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. You know, what has your season been like getting to know the team over there and getting to work with those guys? Yeah, so far it's been amazing uh, working with Atlanta Speedworks. I drove with them last year in another series as well. So, uh, we're kind of taking on this endeavor together. It's it's a new team that we formed uh, for the Michelin Pilot Challenge and TCR with the Honda Civic. Um, it's been really good so far. All the guys are amazing. Great team. No complaints about that. Um, we've had a lot of speed, a lot of success. The car's been really good. Just a little bit of bad luck. And you know, you've been balancing a little bit of different racing series. You know, you've been talking about racing the Spec Miata. You've been doing some of that this year even picked up a win at VIR. What was it like to sort of run around there and get that win? It's always fun to go back and run spec Miata races. Uh, my dad gets to write race too, so it's always good um, to see all those guys. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it rained in that race too. And uh, We pulled off a pretty big lead, and then it started shrinking at the end, but I was able to hold off another competitor. So that was a, that was a really fun race. And to me, you know, it sort of seems like rain is a, is a sort, of, sort of thing in the races. You, you sort of like racing in the rain. What is it to you that makes racing in the rain so much fun? Uh, it's just so much more challenging. It kind of evens out the playing field and really brings it down to the driver. It really puts a lot of the fate of the race in the driver's hands. So just being really in tune with the car, feeling every little patch of water when you have grip, when you don't, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I love it. And you mentioned, you know, in the Spec Miata races, sometimes your dad gets to run and you guys get to run together. I believe in motorsports. Family is such a huge thing when, when, when you think about it in the grand scheme of things. What is it like to not only have your dad with you through the journey in IMSA, but also be able to go and run some Spec Miata races with him every now and then? It's amazing. My dad is just an incredible person. He's always supported me and uh, wanted me to live my dreams, and he's really making that happen. So, uh, I mean, growing up, watching him race, then him uh, helping me with, out, with go-karting. And then when we got back to Spec Miata, we kind of both got into that. And um, I love going to those races. So, to, you know, I can push him around the track. He can push me. We get to race each other, which is really special. And then bringing him to the IMSA events is really cool because he gets to sit up on the box and see everything in action and be involved. So I know he really enjoys it. And... You know, talking a little bit about the off-track now, you have a really special sort of relationship with the Friends of Jacklin Foundation, and, and you had your adoption here in the Charlotte area at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, what went into that and how the day sort of planned out and, and what it was like to be able to see that all happen? 
Yeah, that was uh, a truly amazing experience. Uh, I love working with Friends of Jacqueline. We had them on the Xfinity car last year when I ran up in New York. Um, so we've known them for a little while and we love working with them. I was just really excited to make this all happen uh, when I found out we found someone for me to adopt. So Aiden Amison and the whole family, all his little brothers, um, they're just amazing people, incredible. Uh, I, I, I just love spending time with them getting to meet them. Uh, we went to the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte and just spent the day together, looked at all the cool stuff. I hadn't been there since I was a little kid, so yeah. it was really cool to go back and see everything that's changed and just, just Aiden, gosh, he's an amazing kid. And, and I saw a video of you guys on Facebook doing the little pit, pit crew challenge, and they seemed like they were right up there just going at it, you know, going really fast. So that had to be really fun to be able to go out and just spend the whole day and, you know, sort of just kind of have fun. For, yeah, for we, we had a really good time. I, I know that they really enjoyed it. They were really into that, that pit stop thing. They kept doing it over and over <laughs> trying to beat each other. So they're pretty competitive little kids. That, that's good. So where can people find Brian Henderson on social media? How can they get in touch with you and keep up with what you're doing? So yeah, you can find me at um, Brian Henderson Racing on Facebook. And then I'm bhendo underscore 97 on Instagram and Twitter. Well, Brian, I want to thank you for taking some time to come into the Race Face studio here in Mooresville, North Carolina and sitting down with me and sort of tell your story today and, and let us get to know you a little bit. Definitely. I enjoyed it. And that has been this episode of Race Face Spotlight. If you've min missed any of our Race Face Spotlights, you can go and catch up on raceface.tv on demand. As always, I'm Chris Murdoch. Thanks for watching. Thank you.